Hi, I'm Michael. I'm president of a tour company, and I was using WhatsApp before Telegram. For more reviews like this, please swipe below. The business problems of uh, these messaging apps, uh, WhatsApp and Telegram, help me solve primarily is communicating with international customers. Uh, my cell service does not allow me to call international numbers. So whenever I have that need, I usually just enter the number into WhatsApp or Telegram and I'm easily able to message or call them to communicate my needs to them. They're fairly comparable apps. Uh, Telegram is better for some things. Telegram is better for sending large files, like uh, if I needed to send videos of one of my tours or any other large file, it's going to do a better job of that than WhatsApp. Uh, also, if you uh, if you're into group chats, you can have a much larger number of participants in a group chat with Telegram versus WhatsApp. WhatsApp is going to be better than Telegram because it has a much larger user base, uh, maybe four times as many people. So the likelihood that, that uh, somebody you're trying to communicate with has WhatsApp on their phone already is much higher with WhatsApp than Telegram. Also, <clears throat> WhatsApp, a lot of people are confused about this. WhatsApp provides end-to-end -end encryption of your chats, whereas Telegram uh, stores your chats encrypted on the server, but it's not end-to-end -end encryption. So that's a, privacy is important to some people in that regard. It was fairly easy getting started um, with Telegram. You basically just uh, enter your phone number and it's tied to your phone. Um, so, I, and also with Telegram, you can use it on multiple devices with the same account. Um, so that was pretty easy. Um, they're really both pretty easy. I just, I like, I like the fact that Telegram, you can use across multiple devices on the same account. The top considerations when using these type of messaging apps is obviously ease of implementation and ease of use. I think they're both pretty good at that. But then again, uh, WhatsApp, I think, gets the edge because it has uh, a way larger adoption and way larger user base.